All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to uh, start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. This is Aratazah from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp with another um another quick video. All right, just want to get into scripture too. You know, dealing with uh, you know. Uh, basically, keeping his truth, and you know the, the ministry of Yahweh by Shem Shai as a number one priority. And you know, I was inspired to do this video. I was checking out the uh, the brothers in um the main camp up there in New York. I was watching the uh they their past camp from a Saturday. I was watching it yesterday, and um you know they were going to various topics, and like one of the topics they had hit was. You know, now's the worst time to be worldly, you know. Now's the worst time to, to, you know, slow down and, you know, fade back into the world. And, you know, you ain't as on fire as you used to be. And why is, and why is that? Because we in a time of uh, uh, prophecy, man. All right. You can tell this, this place is about to drop at any minute, man. So now's the worst time to, to you know, lay back and. Um, you know, not, not put this truth, all right, at the forefront of our lives, you know, and like the, uh, you know, you know, basically just to quote the Dallas brothers, I believe they have a saying amongst them is that your life is a side hustle, you know, your, your personal life, the things you got going on, your family, your job, that's supposed to be like a side hustle, something you just do on the side, man. This truth is 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 what we all about, all right. Teaching the word, how about Shemiah Sha, you know, serving serving the brothers, you know, doing videos, reading, studying, you know, being fully submerged submerged in the word of how about Shemiah Sha, on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis, all the way to the end, all right. That we may be counted worthy of salvation, as the scriptures say, um. You know what? To give all diligence to make your calling and election sure. If if you do these things, you shall never fall. You know. So I just want to get a couple of scriptures on that. It's not gonna be a very long video. I'm gonna start here. Um, First Corinthians chapter sixteen. On um, the points in fifteen, I started. Uh, I started at thirteen. It says, "Watch ye." All right, stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men, be strong. All right, yeah, that's straightforward to the point. You watch ye, meaning you watching for the prophecies, you know, measuring the time, and you standing standing fast in the faith, man. Being um as the scriptures say, I think you jump back a chapter, first Corinthians fifteen, it says what to uh, to be um to uh be unmovable, you know. So we gotta be as I always say, you gotta be stubborn in righteousness. Same way how you can't get a you can't get a wacky tacky Christian to 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 leave his bugged out religion. Well, you got to be the same way in his faith, man. It, nothing is going to separate us from the love we have in Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. Standing fast in our belief and faith. Then it says, uh, "Quit you like men, and be strong." When you go into that word "quit," right there, it means to uh, basically um, show oneself as. All right, so it should say, uh, or it could say, uh, show yourselves as men. All right, and then it says to be strong. It says let all let all your things be done with charity, which is a uh, brotherly love. Right, and you know, fifteen is the main point. It says, I beseech you, brethren, you know, the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia. And that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. All right. And that's why I titled the video, Eat, Sleep, and Breathe this Truth. Not saying that, that we don't do that, but we got to just keep doing it. You know, you got to keep doing it. You got to keep having this truth as, you know, the most important thing in our life, in our walk. 
you know it says that this uh this particular church or this this uh company of of brothers it says what they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints we go into this word addicted it means to be devoted they were hev heavily devoted to the church to the ministry of the saints you know so so we got to so you know we got to take on this mind frame or this spirit or or and or we got to continue to have it man and don't and don't uh you know you know as the scriptures say um to uh, be not weary and well doing you know uh, weary means to basically fall weak fall feeble we got to continue to wax stronger especially in these times man you know just to go into what the brothers were saying in the main camp you know now now is not the time to to take our foot off the gas man we got to continue to just go you know and be addicted to this truth we got to be addicted to reading and getting into the word and getting more understanding and you know, uh, how you can better serve the brothers and be better, you know, that's what it's all about, man. This is, uh, th that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints, you know? So we gotta, you know, as the scriptures say, to arm ourselves likewise. And that's pretty much the point, <laughs> you know, I, I get another one. This Romans, uh, uh, where we at Romans 12 and 10 I believe it is All right and I can leave you with that Romans 12 and uh let's see if I can start up a little bit No nah, I I I I get to the point Romans 12 and 10 This is this is be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. All right, yeah. So essentially, to to be what to be heavily devoted or be or, or to be addicted, as we read in First Corinthians chapter sixteen. And also, as a footnote, when we go into that word, uh, you go to the Greek word for um addicted. All right, in that in that last precept. When you go into the definitions in the blue letter, it says to put in order or to arrange. All right. That's the definition of there for the word addicted in the Greek. It says to put in order or to arrange. So really what it's saying, you, you're supposed to prioritize this truth. You know, you're supposed to prioritize the ministry. You, you put it first. You know, your, 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 your life, as I mentioned, the Dallas brothers always say that the, the truth, the, uh, your personal life is a side hustle. So our lives have to bend around this truth and not the other way around. So every decision we make and everything we do, you always think about, well, you know, is this, is this going to get in the way of the truth? You know, you know, you know, is this going to have me, you know, missing camp is going to have me doing, you know, you always uh, fit your life around this truth. The truth is, 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 is what we all about. But going back to the verse, it says, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit. You know, fervent means to, uh, goes back to fever, which means to be on fire or be hot. You know, which the apostles always, always push us to you know, stay on fire, be on fire, and not be slothful, man. All right, serving the Lord. This is rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing the necessity of the saints. Given to hospitality, you know, these are things that we're supposed to be heavily devoted to or to be addicted, you know, like we love it so much. We, you know, we just can't get enough of it. Praying and rejoicing and doing the work, you know, we, we supposed to love it so much that we, you know, as I mentioned, we just we just can't stop, man. You know, we actually want more of it. We want to increase. All right. That's pretty much it, man. You know, I just want to just put a couple of words out there on that. You know, I was just inspired by that. Uh, you know, the you know the uh, uh, you know the uh, brothers in the camp. You know, the New York camp was going into that on the highways and byways, man. You gotta be you gotta be addicted to this truth, man, and keep it keep it first. You do that, man. Like it's, hey, scripture say, you know, we we had quoted it first. Was that First Peter's one and ten? Giving all diligence to make your calling election sure you do these things, you, you know, you 
basically can't fall, man. All right, that's a you know, as another brother says, you know, that's the recipe for success. You can't lose, man. All right, you know, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it off there. Give, uh, giving all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha Kodash, and a low willing uh, to the next uh, video. We're gonna say Shalom.